Uh, good evening, welcome to Astro Journey UK. Um, so yeah, it's been a bank holiday weekend in the UK and surprisingly enough, it's been really, really nice weather, clear skies and uh, pretty hot to be fair. And um, so I thought, I figured, well, it would be wrong to uh, not get out the telescope and everything. So uh, this evening, what I'm gonna be doing is uh, getting my Skywatcher Star Adventurer Pro mount out. Um, I had a play with this a couple of uh, nights ago along with uh, my normal telescope as well. Um, but just really love the simplicity of it and how quickly it is to set up um, and pretty much sort of level it off, point it at the target and, and just go and, and track the target and uh, the results are really, really good. Um, I'll share a, a couple of images from uh, the other night. Um, my plan for this evening is probably the North American Nebula, uh, maybe 200 mil. So uh, I'm going to have a play around and see uh, see what I like and um, yeah, go from there. So, um, yep, following along this evening and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. So here's the uh, Skywatcher Star Adventure Pro mount. Um, the bit that makes it the Pro mount, I think, is this uh, this extra uh, dovetail bar, the weight, and the uh, counterbalance pole as well. Um, and then you've got this, I don't know, what is it called, an L bracket, maybe that you attach the camera to. Um, so yeah, basically, if you undo the clutch, um, it will move freely. And then when you've kind of got everything all where you want it to, you just sort of uh, finger tighten the clutch and it's pretty much good to go. Um, around here on the side, uh, you've got whether you're uh, north hemisphere or south or doing some time lapse. And it can take a, a five volt DC power input. And then around here, um, you've basically got the dial for the different modes. Um, and we basically put it on the, uh, the star mode there uh, to, to do the tracking and that's literally as easy as it gets um, so pretty simple uh, I guess one other point to note is yeah if you look down here there's a sort of a bubble level um, so just change the change the length of the tripod legs to uh, make sure that it's uh, properly level and then um, yeah, obviously also got a polar align it, uh, so there's a cap there and you end up looking through here. So I've got everything all, uh, all polar aligned now. Um, that's got to be, I think, probably the most challenge or one of the most challenging things to do with this particular mount is uh, because you've got to get your eye into there, which is obviously quite low down. Um, it's a bit uncomfortable to kind of crouch down there to uh, to actually do the polar alignment. Um, however, once that's done, um, then the next challenge is to actually line up with the target um, and get everything in focus. That's what I'm gonna do now. So we've done the polar alignment. Uh, what I've done next is uh, basically picked a bright star uh, focused on that bright star just using the um, the screen on the back and zooming in 10 times and then to keep focus uh, basically just using a bit of tape there uh, to make sure it doesn't get knocked uh, so that when I can do flats tomorrow morning um, I'm not going to have any problems with the, the focus being knocked out and uh, flats being completely pointless uh, so the next point point was basically to uh, get to the right target and where I wanted to be and what I've done there is headed over to uh, the star or well, the constellation uh, Seder uh, then Daneb um, and then from there I've basically manually slewed down uh, a little bit sort of further south of uh, Daneb and there's a star uh, just to the or just a little bit lower down uh, bottom left hand corner of uh, the North America nebula and that's kind of my point for the sort of bottom thirds of the image basically um, so that's all set up now and basically I am 
um, set up for my imaging session now. Uh, just going to keep an eye on, on things for a few a few subs, check everything's okay and then just leave it uh, imaging. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it at that now and yeah, just, just leave this imaging and um, share the image at the end. So if you've uh, enjoyed this uh, video, please hit the like button, uh, please comment on what you liked in the video, um, any kind of ideas for future videos and things like that. And if you want to see more videos like this, then please hit the subscribe button and also the bell to get notifications of future videos. Thank you for watching.